That's a huge spider web. I don't know if you can even see that. Let's see if we can get a good shot of that. Maybe with the sunlight on it. I can't really see it. Yeah, that's the whole point of spider web. Is so you don't see them. People don't realize that. You walk right into them. And next thing you know, you have a half a dozen spiders crawling all over you. Yeah, these are like protected parks. Protected behind $5 million townhouses. People don't even know this stuff is here. Other parts of New York, they'd make this readily available to people. Let people know this is here. Do you want to go fishing? You can go fishing. Whatever. These rich people around here, they don't want you in the backyard. They don't want you to know this is here. This is their own little protected area. But... These are people who spend their Sunday in Manhattan having Sunday brunch with all their aristocratic friends. There ain't nobody down here on the water like me. I don't even live in this neighborhood. I gotta come to this neighborhood just to see this. These people live here full time. I get a little bit of trickle that runs underneath my apartment building, but that's about it. I don't really get no parks like this by me. A lot of people don't. You gotta travel to these places, and it's like a trek to get there, you know, and you can't just stay there. You eventually have to go home. You know, and it's, that's a hard sell when you're down here, you know, because you want to go home to these, these $5 million townhouses up there. That's where you want to go home to, you know, because you're thinking to yourself, if I leave my bedroom window open at night, I hear the trickle of the water. But you ain't. You hear the rush of the highway before you hear the trickle of the water. You have to set up a tent down here and sleep down by the water if you want to hear this. They keep you just far enough away from nature in New York so that you got to pay the state to come see it. And that's what they want. They want to put a gate around it and charge you to get in. Eh, they've already done it in America. It's not like it's a movement that's happening. It's already been done. They thought of that 100 years ago. They thought of that more than 100 years ago. How do you charge people for living in their natural environment? How do you charge people for living in their natural environment? It's amazing, isn't it? How you could perpetrate such a thing against the American people? Look at that. That's right there. That's right there. Big apartment. Big apartment for multimillionaires. The five million dollar apartments right there. You buy yourself an apartment with a with a window air conditioner, like a cheap tenement. You get like three or four floors. Whole floors, like a bunch of floors, even though it's an apartment duplex, triplex, quadplex, quintplex, whatever they call it. You get it like four or five floors. Like barely anyone lives here. Look at the size of that place. Barely anybody lives there. There's probably less than a dozen people live there. People are probably paying $5,000 a month in maintenance fees. Amazing kind of money people got. Look at that. A lot of storm damage. We get some pretty wicked storms in New York. A lot of old growth that nobody tends to in the, in the parks. Yeah, look at that tree. That tree hasn't been pruned ever. Really overgrown to be in someone's backyard. You know? These are the type of trees that die and fall over and shit. Kill people. People don't even realize that. No one's taking care of nothing in New York. Everything's just kind of overgrown. 